Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the first group of organisms or first group belonging to the protozoans which are termed as zooflagellates. So let us introduce ourselves to this group known as zooflagellates. These are basically termed as flagellated protozoans. So why flagellated protozoans? So from the name, we can understand that they have got the presence of flagella which are nothing but whip like projections or structures in the surface of these type of cells. So they are known as flagellated protozoans. These type of zooflagellates, they are mostly pathogenic that means they can cause disease and they are mostly endoparasitic. So we know what do we mean by parasitic? Parasitic mode of nutrition is a type of nutrition where the organisms cannot make their own food. They are dependent on, for nutrition on other host organisms. So they are endoparasites means they these type of parasites actually reside inside the body of the organisms or inside the cells of the organisms or the host. So they are known as endoparasites. These type of endoparasites they can spread from one organism to another and this is actually aided by the help of certain vectors. So there are certain vectors which actually help in carrying these type of uh, spore, uh, the zooflagellates from one organism to another. So the transfer happens through vectors. Some of these uh, type of zooflagellates in addition to being parasites or endoparasites they can act as symbionts. So what do we mean by symbionts? They can act, they can be in a mutual relationship with two with other organisms that means they are dependent on other organisms for their survival or nutrition but in turn they are not pathogenic unlike these they do not harm the host so in turn they may also be beneficial to the host so they can live as symbionts or a mutual relationship the flagella presence of flagella they help in locomotion so flagella is the locomotory organ for these type of zoo flagellates. They are heterotrophic in nutrition which means they cannot make their own food because of the absence of photosynthetic pigments which are chlorophyll and they are saprozoic also. They can be saprozoic in nutrition which means they can secrete their enzymes out of their body to the external surroundings where the food is available. Now these complex food materials are broken into simpler materials. These simple materials are then absorbed by these type of cells for their nutrition. So they can be heterotrophic or saprozoic. The stored food in these type of zooflagellated cells is mostly glycogen. So glycogen is the storage material uh, as food for these type of organisms. Uh, these type of organisms reproduce only through asexual mode and the most commonly uh, used mode of reproduction asexually is binary fission. So in this video, we have talked about the first type of or group of protozoans which are known as zooflagellates. We have discussed that these are known as zooflagellates because of the presence of locomotory organ flagella and we have also talked about the different characteristics of this group of zooflagellates. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.